going to demonstrate weaving in ends in reverse stockinette. And I have so many weaving in ends videos. I just keep putting them out every time someone asks for a new one in a different situation. If you want to see all of my weaving in ends videos uh, for every specific situation so far people have asked for, just click the little eye in the upper right hand corner to go to my website and I'll have that whole list there for you. Or you can follow the link in the video description field below if you're on mobile. Um, reverse stockinette is stockinette. It's, you know, knit V's on one side and pearl bumps on the other side. But reverse stockinette actually considers the pearl bump side the right side of the work, right? It's not like garter stitch because you, uh, with garter stitch, you end up with pearl bumps and knit V's, pearl bumps and knit V's. Reverse stockinette is just solid, solid pearl bumps. Um, I can actually show you better. I don't have to talk about it anymore. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is a little swatch of stockinette, and normally we look at this and this would be the right side of the work, but in reverse stockinette, this is the right side of the work. <clears throat> and a lot of patterns use this for different reasons. Um, so the trick here is to weave in the end on the knit side of the work. And I'm going to use a contrasting color of yarn just so you can see what I'm doing. But normally we would have you know, the end coming out of here that we need to weave in. I'm just going to do it in the middle of the work so you can see what I'm doing. And the purpose here is to weave in the end in a way that's not going to show on the front of the work and that isn't going to mess with the elasticity of the fabric, right? We're going to do the same thing that I do when I'm weaving in ends in ribbing. Put your needle into the leg of one of the V's. I'm going to put it in the right leg of the V. And then I'm going to just keep wrapping my needle around the right leg of the V going for a few stitches and then pull it through. Actually, this is a really long end to pull through. <laughs> you would not normally have an end this long to weave in, right? And then I'm going to go back the other direction, put my needle in to this, the loop right next to where I left off and just keep wrapping it around. And then pull that through. So I've gone up and down. And when you're pulling that through, watch your tension. If you pull it too hard, it might show through on the front of the work. It might pucker the work. You don't want to leave a big loop though. And you can cut it short at that point and the end is woven in and nothing shows through on the other side of the work and we have not messed with the elasticity of the work, of the fabric. One more video for my weaving in ends playlist. That's weaving in the end in on reverse stockinette. I hope that helps with your project. Good luck.